Did you know Amazon's address is Innovation Way? It's actually pretty cool. When you're starting to feel alright, I don't know. That's what I see in the label. So I just thought that was interesting. Hello guys, Hawaii. David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.co, my personal website. Right below, check it out. I appreciate it. If you're interested in learning more about me, and if not, not a big deal. Not a big deal. So here we go. I am going to unbox the Dell S two seven one six D G R. That R is optional because apparently the R stands for retail. So this is going to be a massive update, upgrade for me in several regards. Now I've been using the ASUS PBT seven eight Q Quad HD twenty seven inch display for years, and that's five millisecond response time, uh, sixty hertz refresh rates. This has, are you ready for it? One millisecond response time and 144 hertz refresh rate. And yes, this is Quad HD, just like that one. So yeah, 1440p either way. I'm not going 1080p because well, in my opinion, that's just a downgrade. Now, why didn't I go 4K? One cost and two, I couldn't really find a midway point of a display that I really like that's 4K and 144 hertz. So uh, yeah, I figured for $500, I think my money is much better spent on a display with a much faster um, refresh rate than higher resolution, right? I mean, at least in my experience, especially with games like Rainbow Six Siege, uh, I don't play Fortnite that much, but still, I play a ton of shooters, so I think I made the right choice. And if I like this one enough, I will be getting a second one to put right under here where the um, camera is. But David, you're probably thinking, you already have this Samsung TV up here. Well, yes, yes I do. And it acts as a beautiful secondary display. I mean, obviously it's not built with PCs in mind, but it does a pretty damn good job at hosting my OBS preview window and my Twitch chat room, twitch.tv slash David Franco. Please follow me, appreciate it. But that's the thing, I constantly have to look up and read the chat, which isn't a big deal, but it's obviously more natural if I get a second one of these displays and puts it and put it on the right side. Now I could put this next to this, but guys, come on. You should know by now. I'm not about that life. The products, they have to match. Okay, so let's open this. Again, the Dell 2716DG, 27 inch, 144 hertz, one millisecond, 1440p display. I am hyped. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed in the overall quality of the box. It looks like it's been through some serious shit. I don't know if it's just been sitting in the warehouse for a while. I don't know. And it took a little bit of a fall in the Amazon box itself. So hopefully it's okay. And if not, I can contact Amazon. But the fact that the box is so beat up, that concerns me a little bit. But hey, if it's working, it's working. And if not, then I'll handle it with Amazon. Their customer service is excellent. Okay, enough rambling. Let's open it up. The tape is sealed, so that's obviously a good sign. Opening the flaps. This is a very big box, by the way, so that's why I put the camera on top of my PC. This is a very rare moment for me. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, let's lay the box down. You guys are gonna shake a little bit. There you go, not too bad. Ooh, lots of stuff to go through. Okay. I don't think Dell got the memo. It's 2018. Optical media, what is this, 1996? Uh, you get a little manual showing you how to do the mounts and all that stuff. And by mount, I just mean the base. USB cable, because this does have built-in USB, which is very nice. Hey guys, oddly enough, that's something my ASUS PB278Q does not have. It does everything else, it has a ton of inputs, but it does not have built-in USB, which is kind of weird, and this is definitely something I could use for like charging devices or whatever, just making my cable management that much better. You get a DisplayPort cable, which I will be using on my PC, and also, this does have HDMI in, which is required for me because I'm currently using a leave-in, leave not sure how to say it, leave-in, uh, four-in-one out HDMI switch to power all my gaming consoles. And my power, I just mean audio and video. And speaking of power, power cable for the monitor. A stand. Also, I did have a Dell display years ago. I loved it. Eventually the backlight went out. Hey, it happens, it happens. This is the base. And by the way, this monitor does have G-Sync. 
right there. Very nice. A lot of cardboard. All right, the display itself. Now keep in mind, the only downside about this monitor is the fact that it's not technically larger than my ASUS display. 27 inches, 27 inches. But I will say this, the bezel is so much thinner than the ASUS. This thing is thick. All right, let's take it out, guys. And I'll get it set up and I'll show you guys how it looks. And this is a TN panel. That's something to keep in mind. This is not IPS. But if you look up some videos, people are amazed with the fact that this is TN because it looks like an IPS panel. Okay, everything physically looks okay. My god, the bezel is so thin. And the bezel is actually part of the display, whereas with the Asus, it's kind of jutting out. Whereas this one, everything is embedded except for the bottom bezel. That's where the Dell logo is. And I gotta say, the display is very light. Yeah, this box is legit annoying. It just wants to close. All right, we're good here. All right, let's take a closer look at the display before I mount it. On the bottom here, we've got, let me see, USB, HDMI, display port, audio, and of course, power way over there. Sorry, I know it's kind of dark right now. The lighting's not the best. Actually, you know what? Let's just mount this right now. So just like any typical display, this should fall right into place. And click. Wow. That was incredibly easy. And of course, you can uh, raise and lower it with ease. Look at that. Very smooth. And I believe it rotates. So if you want to do vertical, you can. Damn, it just makes it. There you go. So yeah, vertical is your thing. Boom. It supports it. What is going on out here? Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to make a video. All right. As long as you're having fun. Oh my God. I just realized my chair. Look at all the color wearing off. That's crazy. Huh. I'll worry about that later. And of course, rotating this back is just as easy. Boom falls into place, and push it back down. I gotta say, the overall uh, design isn't bad. Very nice. All right, let's get this hooked up and see how it looks. However, before I do that, one important note. Because this is a TN panel, I do not recommend getting this display for photo editing or video editing or anything that requires accurate color because this is not for you. This is built specifically with gaming in mind. Just something you might want to consider if you're thinking about buying it for yourself. All right, there you have it. First impressions of the overall build, very positive. Guys, look at that bezel. That bezel is so much thinner than my old display, which is right here. Look at that. Look how thick that bezel is. Boom, right there. Huge, huge difference over this one. And once again, it's actually part of the display, which is very nice. I do have one complaint, and I saw this on Amazon. I don't know why the cable management hole is so low. It should be higher, that way the cables um, are not displayed. Because, I don't know, it's kind of weird that they put the hole so low, the hole should be higher. Now, is that a deal breaker? Of course not, of course not. I'm just being petty. I'm extremely picky when it comes to stuff like that. I cannot get the NVIDIA control panel to open, and I just realized I never even opened it because I guess from day one, it's never worked, and apparently it's a common issue. I just reinstalled the drivers, so let's see if it opens now. NVIDIA control panel. Oh. There it is. I've had this card for a few months now, and this is my first time opening this. All right, so why am I in here? Well, basically because I'm going to customize a bunch of settings. If you go to Amazon and you look up this display and read the Amazon customer reviews, there is a top rated review, which basically tells you all the settings that you need to use for this display. So 
I'm gonna put some text right below. If this is your display, use these settings. Apparently, it's the best way to go. Now, of course, I'm not gonna bore you and do all that on screen, but I just wanted to show you that, uh, or tell you that, rather, just to save you some time and trouble. Because right now, I'm not gonna lie, the overall quality isn't that like amazing. It's not blowing my mind because it's kind of washed out. But much like a TV, you need to calibrate it, then you'll get the best possible picture. So guys, there you have it. There is my unboxing and setup video. Wait, hold on, I'm not done yet. Make sure you go into your NVIDIA control panel, click on change resolution. You can technically get two times the resolution, um, 3620 by 2036. I don't recommend doing that because this is a 1440 display. However, to the right of it says refresh rate. Right there, you have the choice of 24 hertz, 60 hertz, 85 hertz, 120 hertz, I'm sorry, 100 hertz, 120 hertz, and 144 hertz. And guys, let me tell you something. The instant I changed my refresh rate from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, I noticed a difference right away. I'm telling you, it's like going from a 60 hertz iPad Pro to the ProMotion compatible iPad Pro, which has a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now this is technically even higher, 144 hertz. And guys, <laughs> it's so, Freaking sweet, even, even like my mouse movement looks so good now. It looks so, so good. But okay, there you have it. I'm not gonna talk about this too much right now. Back to my clip. I will say that because it's so much smaller, I'm actually saving a lot of space, which will help with my dual display setup or triple display, if you count that one. So in theory, I'm gonna have another one right here. Then I'm gonna push my PC up here so that way it's still displayed and technically the second monitor will be hiding the cables. So in a way, it could make my setup look even better. I gotta push these consoles up, put my G Fuel stuff on a shelf up here, keep this here. Kirby's just down here since I'm streaming Kirby at the moment. And well, there you have it. A brief update on my setup. Now, do you guys wanna see a detailed setup tour video? Let me know right below and click that like button. I appreciate it. I realize it's been a while since I've made any kind of setup tour video. Cable management is a mess. I still I still gotta figure that out. And um, now that I actually have a better display, one that's built for gaming, um, I think my setup is worthy. Now, of course, I have not done any gaming yet. However, I'm gonna save that for the weekend of Lockity Vlog. So subscribe if you're not doing so already. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And of course, I will be linking this exact display in the video description. I got it for like $485 which I don't think is too crazy. It's not too crazy. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you next time. Peace. When you're starting to feel all right, my heart was happy to, seven days no sound, but you're all